Hey, it's Maddie Mark Shirk with the Beatty Westerland team at Premier Sotheby's International Realty. I know there are so many incredible beaches down here and not everybody knows about all of the little hidden gems and where to go when you come down here or maybe where you wanna buy a property relative to the beach. I'm gonna talk about eight different beach and beach-like areas that are in Southwest Florida from Fort Myers Beach all the way to Marco Island. They're all gorgeous. Some of them are still recovering a little bit from the hurricane that most recently happened. However, I just think it's important for everybody that visits down here, travels down here, or wants to buy down here, knows these eight little places. So we're gonna start with the most north, uh, Fort Myers Beach. Huge, gorgeous, like I said, still recovering from the hurricane but definitely a place that you would like to travel to. So if you go down Astero Boulevard, you will find it. It's very hard to miss Fort Myers Beach, and a lot of people come down here simply for that gorgeous, huge beach. Moving a little bit more south, we're heading along Astero Boulevard up towards Bonita Springs, and we have Lover's Key State Park. Now this is a really cool place simply because you have a beach, but you also have some walking trails. You can walk along, you can kayak. Definitely seen a lot of manatees in here and it's just a super neat place. Definitely somewhere you should check out. I believe parking's around $10 for a day trip. It is tough to beat. You definitely should not miss out on Lover's Key State Park. As you go along the same stretch of road, you're gonna go through Hickory's Pass and New Pass overpasses basically. And there you will find an incredible dog beach, as well as kayak and paddleboard rentals. These are pretty neat. You can go through the mangroves and hang out on your paddle boards. You can make it a full exercise activity. They have a huge loop that you can travel as well. But for a relatively reasonable price, you can rent these kayaks, paddle boards, and have an incredible afternoon. Definitely think that's something that everybody should know about, as well as the dog beach, because we know that we have our dog lovers down here. Um, not everywhere you can bring your dogs. These are great options for our animal lovers as well. All right, we're continuing a little bit more south. We're heading up to Bonita Beach. Bonita Beach is a lovely beach and you have some uh, parking access right there. Currently, um, with the hurricane, everything has been down a little bit, but I believe parking is free now. So uh, this will be temporary, I'm sure. But Bonita Beach is definitely a go-to beach, public access. You have restrooms and whatever you might need right there. Great location definitely check it out. Right next to it too is Barefoot Beach and Barefoot Beach is, a, is an incredible, highly sought after. You have to drive through the Barefoot Beach community, gorgeous luxury homes that will be surrounded and this beach is just very private. You will have to pay for entry, very worth it. Gorgeous, gorgeous and I can't say enough good things about Barefoot Beach which is just minutes from Bonita Beach so you can try both within the same day if you would like. Now as we snake our way back on Bonita Beach Road, 41 more south. You'll run into Vanderbilt Beach Road. This is where our home office is, Premier Sotheby's International Realty. We have our Vanderbilt Beach office. We've got a lovely Vanderbilt Beach. It has parking garage right there. Vanderbilt Beach is just super stunning, gorgeous. You definitely don't wanna miss this one as well. When you enter this beach, you have Pelican Bay further south. So you can walk along the beach and look at the gorgeous high rises in Pelican Bay, but it's, it's a public beach access right there and you can enjoy it. If you live in Pelican Bay, the community, you also get your private entry down there where you can come and hang out on the beach in that area. If you're not a resident of Pelican Bay, you can walk along the beach, but you cannot necessarily park your stuff down and sit there. Moving further south, we're gonna head right up to Naples Pier. Um, if you head down US 41 and you go by Gulf Shore Boulevard, you are going to be amazed with the incredible Naples Pier. You've got beach access on both sides and you're pretty close to downtown Naples. So you could go for a bite to eat and go shopping while you're there as well. And then the final one that we're gonna talk about too is Marco Island beaches. If you continue to head south down to Marco Island, there's a handful of beaches that you can find there. Again, another great spot. So these are the top eight locations that you definitely need to check out if you are a beach goer, if you need to know a little bit more about the beaches in the area down here. Again, beaches are highly sought after down here and there's homes right near the beach. There's homes walking distance of the beach. There's homes farther away from the beach. If you're looking to move down here at all, let me know. Shoot me an email if you're interested in more information about this area. There's a lot of cool spots down here and a lot of communities that might suit what you're looking for. Also, I send out a local happenings e-blast. So if you're interested, shoot me an email. I can sign you up for the local events that are happening every single month at the beginning of the month. You definitely don't wanna miss out on that. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.